Dr. Shabir, welcome back. Pleasure to be on. We're looking at misunderstood verses of the Quran, Dr. Shabir. Now we are looking at uh, verse 275 from chapter 2. This is how it goes. Those who consume usury will not stand except to stand one who has been driven to insanity due to a touch from Satan. So, Dr. Shabir, how has this verse been misunderstood? This is only a part of the, a longer verse, Sophia, and, and that suffices for our discussion. Uh, as for those who uh, uh, take usurious um, interest, um, they will not stand except as stands, or they will not rise up except as rises up uh, someone who has been knocked to the ground by the touch of the of the, of Satan. Mm -hmm. uh, now, so what does this mean? Yes. Yeah, like, how does Satan knock somebody to to the ground with with his touch? So the classical commentators on the Quran um, commonly uh, say that this refers to demon possession. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so Satan is not only one entity, but uh, a horde of uh, spirit beings from among the jinn kind. And these uh, jinn beings could, according to them, uh, possess a human individual, causing this human being to act and say things uh, that the human is not really responsible for because the jinn has taken over. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, so the person is said to be majnoon. Majnoon in Arabic actually means crazy, uh, but the etymologically it means the one who possessed. is jinn possessed. Yes. You see, uh, because in in ancient times people did not, you know, they they classified uh, mental illness as jinn possession, mm -hmm. uh, and so this has survived in the classical commentaries on on the Quran. So they're saying the uh, the 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 person who has taken uh, usurious uh, interest in this life on the day of judgment will rise up, uh, staggering. Uh, like a a mad person, perhaps even uh, a person who has been um, uh, knocked to the ground, maybe due to an epileptic fit or something like this. We know from the uh, Gospels that sometimes a person uh, who has symptoms of what we would classify as epilepsy today uh, would be thought to have been possessed by a demon. Mm -hmm. um, so, so all of these old ideas are there in the interpretation of this verse, whereas the verse by itself doesn't need to mean anything like that. Uh, the the verse only needs to mean something like, uh, you know, the person who is taking usurious interest has been uh, driven uh, to mad desire for wealth, hmm. and and this mad desire for wealth is causing them to oppress their fellow human beings by charging high interest, uh, like overburdening interest, uh, in order to give them loans for things that they 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 need to accomplish as necessities of their lives. So it doesn't need to have this whole uh, like this spectacular or metaphysical uh, interpretation. Mm -hmm. Has any no. Anyone interpreted in that way, uh, Dr. Shabir, that you're I, suggesting? I, I see that in, in modern times, like many of the translations of the Quran and uh, even some commentaries that are written in the English language uh, tend towards, uh, you know, away, away from that idea of jinn possession. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we should speak more broadly about the problem of jinn possession, which is a topic by itself. But as it relates to this verse, uh, think about the problem of jinn possession. Like if someone says that the jinn has possessed me at one time and caused me to do something, it means that now in my sane state, I'm no longer responsible for that action. Of course, we know that the plea of uh, insanity works in a modern court of law as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but with, uh, with the plea of insanity, we can have uh, people who are studying uh, the individual to see if, you know, from a medical perspective, is this plea genuine? Uh, if, if one is talking about a jinn having possessed the person and then eventually having left the person without leaving any trace, uh, then there, there is no way that any doctor in the world can uh, determine whether or not the person was or was not jinn possessed at any particular time. And so that would render the whole system of Islamic law to be uh, inoperable because anybody at any time could claim that they were possessed by a jinn at the time of committing any crime and nobody would be able to prove or disprove uh, that metaphysical 
claim. Uh, and, and people don't advance these claims uh, generally, interestingly enough, because it, it probably is just common sense among Muslims uh, today, uh, as it has most often been, that, uh, you know, it doesn't really happen. Mm. Yeah, you know. So, uh, but in ancient times, people attributed illnesses to the work of the devil, to jinn possession, and and so on. And and so some of that has survived in the classical commentaries on the Quran. We should be aware when we read the Quran that we don't uh, just uh, in a wholesale manner uh, just accept everything hook, line, and sinker that is mentioned in the commentaries because the Quran for Muslims is the word of God. The commentaries are the words of human beings who are trying to explain what the understood uh, from, from the word of God. We, we should always try to make, keep that distinction in mind. So to, to recap, the, the verse is saying, if I translate it in my own way, uh, as for those who uh, take usurious uh, interest, uh, they will not rise up except uh, as rises up uh, a person who has been driven uh, to madness uh, by, uh, due to the greed for wealth. All right, we'll leave it at that. Thank you, Dr. Shabir. You're welcome. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Muslim Media Hub, the new home of Let the Quran Speak. Here we spread positivity and good. We help people experience the beauty of Islam and uh, help them appreciate and understand Muslims. This beautiful building we purchased at cost $2.3 million. Yeah, we've already raised a third of that money and with your help, inshallah, we can pay off the rest. So we're looking for people who can give $1,000 each. If you can be part of the select group, that's amazing. Otherwise, just uh, please give whatever you can every dollar counts it's our collective responsibility to share the message of islam with our fellow human beings please help us continue this good work it's a sadaqa jariya something that will continue to be a benefit to the muslim community long after safiya and i are gone <laughs> <laughs> please support our work at muslimmediahub.com your support is zakat eligible and tax deductible may allah bless you and your loved ones today and always assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum